Hello guys, welcome to Coding Cafe. So in the previous video tutorial, as you know that we have worked successfully I and mean, we have allowed a user successfully to send friend request and to cancel friend request to any person from around the world. So now in this video tutorial, what we gonna do? First, let's come here. So let's say I'm going to send friend request to Amon Ford. So when I send friend request, I mean now I am the sender, okay? So I have two options. Either uh, I have sent friend request and then I can cancel that friend request which I already sent, okay? So I can send it and I can cancel that friend request. Now what for the receiver? That is let's say I am going to send friend request, okay? Then how Amon Ford will respond to this friend request? Which options she will see? on her account so let's work for that i mean for the receiver so the receiver will have basically two options one is the accept friend request and the other one is the decline friend request so we will work on that so go to the android studio and first of all come here above and here we have when we uh, right here that is I mean our method which we call here uh, what uh, I mean this method which is maintenance of buttons so go to that method and that method is this one okay private wide maintenance of buttons so here we say that if request type dot equals to send okay so this is for the sender that is the send and the send friend request and the cancel friend request if if a user send friend request to someone then he has the right to cancel that friend request too now what for the receiver the receiver will have two options either to accept that friend request and to decline or you can say the cancel friend request okay so for that what we're going to do here we can say else if the re request type dot equals to so if the request type is equals to received r e c e i v e d received as you know that it is uh, we are retrieving this request type from our database okay here and we store it inside the string type variable so basically we store two types one is the sent and one is the received so now here we can say First of all, we have to change the current state. So the current state will be equals to request underscore received. So this is the request, the current state now, request received. And then we are going to change the send friend request button for the receiver. So the send friend request button dot set text and the text for this button will be now uh, accept friend request accept friend request and now we have to uh, visible the decline friend request button because the user will have the option to cancel that uh, friend request also so we can say decline friend request dot set visibility and this time instead of invisible we can say view dot visible which is this one okay visible and then we can say decline friend request dot set enabled set and this should be true so yeah that's it now the next thing is uh, to write the code for accept friend request so when the receiver uh, accept the friend request then the two person become friends so we have to create another node inside our database by the name friends reference so let's come here above and here we are going to create another database reference so what we're going to do here i can simply put a comma uh, a comma and then i can say friends ref so this will be our friend reference and now uh, here we can say friend ref friend sorry not the friend request it is the friends ref equals to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child and this one will be our friends reference 
so yeah that's it now come down here and when we say if the current state dot equals to request sent then we are going to check for the request received so we can say current state dot equals to and this time we are going to check for the request received so if the request R E C E I V E D. So if the constant is equals to the request received, then we are going to work on the accept and request. So we will uh, create a method accept and request, and we will call that method here. So let's call it here accept friend request. So we are going to create that method. Okay, this method is not created yet, as you know that I always. Uh, Create, I mean, I always call a method, then I create that method. Okay, so this is the exception request, and now let's create this method. So, create this inside the person profile activity. So, you can see that our method is created successfully, and now inside this method, we are going to write code for to make the two person friends with each other. So, what we're gonna do. So first, uh, we have to get the current date that is on which date the two person become friends. So let's uh, get the current date. So for that, we can say calendar, and let's say call for date equals to calendar dot get instance. And we have already write the code for getting the date. So before wasting time i mean we, uh, let's uh, go to the let's go to the post activity and we will copy the code for getting the current date so go to the post activity and here if you come here above then inside this storing image to firebase storage here we write the code for getting the current date so you can simply call, uh, copy this call for that current date and then save current date so copy these three line of code and now come back here and let's paste that here okay so you can see that we have done that and now go back to the post activity and we have this save current date so let's copy this private string save current date variable and now let's come here on our person person profile activity and let's paste that here so yeah that's it we have already created this string type so remove this private string and now let's cut this from here and we can paste that save current date here okay so now you can see that we have initialized that variable above and now you can see that the error is gone okay so now the next thing is uh, by using the friend reference we are going to save the user data i mean the if the two person become friends with each other so we have to create another not friends and we have to store the data there so you can say friend ref dot child sender user id dot child receiver user id dot child and we are going to save the date here so we can say date dot child date dot set value and the value will be uh, you know that the date is saved inside the save current date variable which is uh, this one okay so you have to pass that here and make sure to put a semicolon here at the end so yeah that's it and now the next thing is and let's add a success listener on that in order if any error occur let's say uh, during the send on the exception request so remove this semicolon and then we can say dot add on success listener or you can also add the add on complete listener whatever you like so i will use add on complete listener new on complete listener and make sure to put a semicolon here and now the next thing is so now inside this on complete method uh, as you know that we have to check that if the task is successful then we can you uh, we can say if task dot is successful now if the task is successful then we what we are going to do so just like we did for the send friend request what we're going to do as you know that this is the sender and receiver 
and we have also to save this for the receiver okay i mean first we will write the receiver and then the sender so instead of uh, writing it twice i will just copy this control c and then paste that inside this if task dot is successful so paste that here and now remove this sender and receiver so first i will write the receiver now so receiver user id and then the second one will be the sender user id you can see that okay just like that and yeah that's it so the first we have sender receiver i mean we are storing the data for the sender and then for the receiver and sender which means for the receiver okay so yeah that's it and now inside this second if task dot is successful method what we gonna do so if this code executes then this will create basically a friends uh, node and a record will be saved that the sender and receiver become friends with each other and also alongside with that the current debt that is on which that the two person become friends with each other then that that will be saved but now we and uh, the record as you know that is also stored in the friend request reference and now we do not need that record anymore so what we're gonna do we are going to remove that from the database i mean the friend request uh, i mean what the data which we stored earlier uh, in the friend request reference so now as the two person become friend with each other so we have to remove the record from the friend request node so for that we are going to write a code but before uh, i mean uh, we have already wrote that code so we will just come here below and instead of writing it twice we are going to copy the code from the cancel friend request here okay and we will change it for the exception request okay so copy this okay copy this code from here control c and now come here above and now inside our exception request method we are going to pass that code here so pass that code here and now here we can say so this is our code okay and now here uh, we need to do some changes here so the changes will be first we have request reference the sender and receiver id and then we are going to remove that request from request from the database and then we add a add on complete listener and then the same we did for the receiver okay the receiver sender and remove value and then we set a click listener on that so if the task is successful then what we gonna do so send for request dot set enable to true and now the as you know that if the two person become friend each other then the current state will become equals to friends and the text the send for request text we will now change this to unfriend this person which means that is let's say i am now friend with you okay so we both have the right to unfriend each other i can unfriend you and you can unfriend me okay so we have to uh, work on the unfriend uh, functionality also so unfriend this person and the same that is the decline friend request button will be invisible and it is set enables to false so yeah that's it and now let's run our app to see if it is working or not so our app is running now successfully and now let's come here to the find friends and also let's open the database so that we can see that what is going on so now i am logged in by my own account and let's send friend request to aisha higgins i mean this beautiful girl so when i send friend request you can see that the friend request node is created successfully and inside that there are two records so we have discussed this in the uh, earlier video tutorial now i am going to uh, log in using aisha higgins account which is the receiver of that friend request okay so now let's uh, let me log out from here and now I will log in using Aisha account Aisha Hughes account and Then we are going to see that what is going on. So I wrote the password and let's click on login So I am now login as uh, Aisha Hughes account. You can see that okay And now let's go to the find friends and now we are going to check So you know that Muhammad Ali was my account that is from this account i sent a request to aisha hughes so let's click on muhammad ali 
and you can see that the two options appear which is the accept friend request and the decline friend request and the decline friend request means to cancel the friend request okay so we will work on the decline friend request in the upcoming tutorial and now we are going to accept friend request so click on that and you can see that the friend node is created and the friend request uh, uh, reference or you can say the record is uh, deleted successfully uh, from the database so now i am friend with aisha hughes if i open this then you can see that one is the uh, let me tell you guys that so one is the aisha hughes uh, id and one is mine and then the that that is on which that we become friends with these other and the send is, as you know that one is the sender the receiver and then the receiver and the sender and if i come here and if i show you guys then not these ids gq and kj let's check it so let me show to you guys first one is the gq which is mohammed ali which is my account and then the jk is uh the KJ is this one. So you can see that it is Aisha Hughes account. So now you can see that we successfully friends. I mean, Muhammad Ali and Aisha Hughes are now successfully friends with each other. So now we will work on two things in the upcoming tutorial. One is, as you know that now when two person become friends with each other, then now Aisha Hughes can unfriend me. Okay, you can see that this is written. That is unfriend this person. It means that we are now friends with each other with Aisha Hughes. I am friend now. So now uh, she has the right to unfriend me and I have also the right to unfriend her. So I mean both of us can unfriend each other whenever we want. Okay. So we will work on the decline friend request and then the unfriend this person functionality. Okay. So we can unfriend uh, uh, an already friend. I mean if someone is friend with each other then both has the right to unfriend each other. So yeah, we have successfully added the accept friend request and you can see that the friend node is created successfully. So now in the next video, what we're going to do, we will work on the decline friend request and unfriend this person. We will work on these two functionalities. So yeah, that's it for this video. And if anyone is new to our channel, then please subscribe our channel. Thumbs up for this video. And don't forget, please, please uh, press the bell icon so that you can never miss any single update from us and don't forget to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook account this is my username so make sure to follow me on my twitter instagram and facebook and yeah see you guys in the next video bye for now